very interested in um, looking for targets for therapies. And that's the reason that we went back to people to look at the genetics, because if you can identify a pathway, a variant, a gene or a pathway that moves people from having onset at 20 to having onset at 80, you are likely to um, be able to find therapeutic targets in that pathway. So we've been very interested in doing that. And that's why we went back to people, really, because if you express the Huntington's gene with its expansion in any cell, then you disrupt pretty well everything that's going on in that cell. So it's very hard to know what to target. So we thought that by going back to people, we'd take advantage of you know, this sort of almost a natural clinical trial, and we could look at this and see what really would make a difference in people. So we are currently talking to a number of, diff a number of companies um, about potentially trying to use some of our findings to um, generate therapeutics. Um, so the idea is that we identify the targets and uh, we can work with companies who will then um, use their proprietary technologies to try and um, cure the disease. But I have to say that there are also clinical trials just about to go on in Huntington's disease because, um, because we know what the genetic mechanism is. Um, you can actually attack that directly. So um, Ionis and now Roche and Ionis have partnered up to do a phase three trials using Huntington antisense oligonucleotides to knock down Huntington. So basically Ionis did a phase one, two trial, safety and tolerability, which um, was successful. Um, it wasn't powered to produce functional outcomes, but they've now partnered up with Roche who are going to do a phase three trial to see if they can get um, a, a good therapeutic functional outcome. And I have to say that um, this is hugely optimistic for patients, but I actually think that similar to the discussion we recently heard, you're probably going to need multiple therapies in most of these diseases, and that includes Huntington's disease, because you're going to want to treat different stages and parts of the disease. And this is like cancers and HIV, which have already been mentioned here. Um, you know, you're going to want a, some sort of polytherapy that addresses different targets. So I think that our idea is that we will um, try to find targets based on different mechanisms to those that are already in play.